Computational physics is basically uh, making physics easier when you use computers. When you represent things in the real world using computer code and visualizations. Using the power of the computer to do computations that would take too long by hand to simulate the real world situation. That's pretty linear. We do a lot of experiments hands-on and then you can represent it later in a simulation. Once you have figured out that, that there's a particular relationship between how fast the buggy is moving at each point in time, um, now you can just write that as a second function inside of Pirate. And so because the student actually has to figure out, okay, how am I going to figure out how the position is different in each frame and how am I going to figure out how the velocity is different in each frame, that activity helps them understand how the changing velocity affects the changing position and how those two variables are both changing at the same time and how that leads to the motion that once it then plays in Pirate, they see that the motion in that simulation actually matches the the, simul the, uh, the actual motion from their lab. I think it will help my students understand physics. I think there are many ways to learn physics. There are many ways to learn science, discover how the world works, and computers are a really great tool that enable you to um, write out systematically what the rules are for how things work. And then you write out the rules and you press play and then see what happens. Black Runner um, is much faster. And then this course adds the programming aspect where the students are actually writing the logic as opposed to just clicking buttons. But I think it provides more opportunities for the kids to actually develop the idea, see it, and represent it effectively. We're making a lot of measurements. Um, and working with a lot of data. Being able to program is what physicists do, <laughs> uh, even if they're doing it with different languages. How long will it take a basketball to bounce 20 times? That is not something a student can do by hand, but with a computer, it's really easy. And that's the other thing that I wanted to focus on here is places where we can do now what we couldn't do before because of computation. My goal for this workshop was to get all of the participants to the teachers uh, to a level of comfort with computation that they would be able to implement it in their classrooms next year. I feel like this workshop has been a great help to me because I'm taking both physics and computer science next year and that's going to be a big help in my high school junior year. I think number one is the ability to talk with other physics teachers who all care and have worked really hard on their craft over time and so everything that is said is said very thoughtfully. It's been a phenomenal workshop.